hi guys and welcome to my channel again in today's video i'm going to share with you a brilliant map site for teaching maths to your children at home this website is called white rose maths now white rose is a scheme of work that many school around the uk use to for as a, as a main uh, scheme of work for teaching maths now this is brilliant that white rose has decided to publish free lessons for every single year group for primary age children some for secondary school as well and they come complete with the activities and even the answer sheets to help you parents at home now this is how their page looks like so all you need to do is in your search engine just type in white rose mats it will take you to a page like this you want to go into home learning when you go onto that page this page has all of the year groups as you can see right from early years to year eight now you want to go into whatever year group your child is in so let's click on one so for example my child is in year two now in my videos last week i have actually been uh, doing uh, lessons using white rose so i've done one week's worth of lessons now for week two i haven't started them yet but i thought i can share them with you give you some independence and you can just get on with it uh, yourself so here we are if you haven't completed your week one lesson i would suggest you go into to week one first before starting on to week two so this is your week one lesson as you can see that they have given you five full lessons so this is how your lesson looks like i'll give you a quick glimpse of the lesson let's see mm, four donuts here. if i wanted to share a donut with a friend i'd have to split it into two equal parts that would be fair, wouldn't it? Which of these donuts is split into two equal parts? It's the first one. No. It's the second one. It's very nearly, but they're not equal parts. This third one. Ah, yes, that's been split straight down the middle. This fourth one. Ah, that's a curved line, but it's not making two equal parts. This donut has been split into two equal parts, and each part is worth a half. We can write this as one half. Pause here and have a go at question one. Four representations to have a look at here. In this first one, Okay, so what you want to do is wherever there is a new question, I would recommend that you stop the video and actually ask the question to your child. Encourage them to talk about the question, discuss it and try and answer the question before just playing the whole video and giving them all the questions. So please make sure that you are pausing the video at every new question and then asking the questions because what we want to do is we want to encourage mathematical talk now is 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 it's very important that you um do provide children with regular opportunities uh, to engage in a purposeful mathematical dialogue because this can clarify, refine and extend understanding of important mathematical language and concepts. So you want to make sure that you're talking to your children while you are playing these lessons. Then if you um, go in, onto the side, you'll see these two tabs. One says get the activity. When you click on it it will give you the whole activity sheets uh, whole activity sheet that goes with the actual lesson you scroll down there would always be two pages and um this actually links with the actual lesson that that you've been uh, teaching your child now um i've been saying in my other videos as well that you don't have to have a printer you don't have to print every single activity sheet as you can see that these questions are very uh, straightforward very easy to just talk about and then get your child to write the answers in their books they don't even have to write the answers in their books if they have a whiteboard they can show you the working out on the whiteboard or simply just discuss the answers 
responses with your children at home. Now, with the activity sheet, it even gives you the answers because, I mean, I th and I think that is brilliant because not everyone is as confident with uh, in maths. So uh, this should help you to ensure that you are marking your child's work correctly and you are addressing any misconceptions. So I would recommend you have this on hand as well and you refer to the answer sheet when you are checking your child's work. So this is a white rose. Now this was week one and they actually have lessons for week two as well. So if you have already been um, up with all of this uh, you can go straight into week two and once again you have in in week two, you have all of the lessons there with the activity sheets, with the answer sheets and everything, which I think once again is, is brilliant. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you stay at home, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for other ideas, how to keep your children engaged and more useful resources. Thank you for watching. Bye.